Hello, hello, welcome back to another episode of Learning with Qua. Yeah, I'm not a singer, but I'm going to keep doing it. So, how are you guys doing today? How's everyone feeling? Please drop a comment down below. Let's interact. Let's talk to each other. Tell me what's going on. How are you feeling? What's up? What is on your mind today? What are you thinking about? I got loose hair everywhere. Ah. Uh, Anyways, I did my hair today. I actually like, instead of just trying to hide it in a freaking bun and a ponytail. So we did that. Um, and this, today's video is going to be about my BoxyCharm Premium. So if you want to see how I created this look with this bright lip right here out of uh, my BoxyCharm Premium, just uh, keep on watching, and uh, thank you for joining, and yeah, hugs, 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 hugs. Anyways, I'll talk to you guys soon, uh, let's get into this. to be getting into our boxy charm premium so here's what the inside of the box looks like Woo! and I'll put this over here onto the side it's kind of blocking my light but it's all right we're we'll, we'll there we go there we go got to be smarter than what it is right Anyways, how are you guys doing? How's everything going? Let me know in the comments below how you're doing, what you guys are thinking, what's up? And uh, let's not pay attention to my crazy hair today because, so, I curled it, I curled it, right? And the only way my hair curls is with a flat iron. Sounds weird, only way my hair curls. So, this side curled all nice and pretty, and this side curled pretty, and now it's already going flat. My hair does not like to hold curl at all, so I tried. I actually tried, but okay. Let's see. Let's see if look at it. It's even falling. Okay, look. Even on this side too. This side's falling flat. <sighs> life, life, life. Okay. So let us get into our boxy charm premium. I'm sorry about that. Um, I was. Sad that a card did not come in to give the prices, but I will list all the prices in the description box below. So if you want to know how much it costs or whatever, I will have that once this is up. So, okay, let's go. First things first. Ah, okay, that's not working right there. Let me see. Let me put this over here. There we go. Put it right there. That works so much better. And first thing first, this was my choice item. It was the CEO Sunday Riley uh, cream. And it is vitamin C rich hydration cream. And you get 1.57 ounces or 50 grams. And this is infused with 5% vitamin C. And apply morning and night as needed. So I'm going to put this on right away because... We're going to be doing a face. And you always want to moisturize your face. But since I was getting moisturizer in, I was waiting for this. So as you can see, it comes with a uh, cute little... Ah. This is what it looks like. It's actually like a light, oh, a light yellow tint. And it's very creamy. I don't want it to like fall out of the jar. And... It's already on my finger and it's on the cap and what I like to do is just 
I'm sure that's probably way too much already, but I'm in New Mexico and it's super dry out here, so extra moisture is always appreciated. And ooh, this feels super rich, like like a thick cream, and it smells delicious like orange. Oh yeah. Well, as you can see, it's already giving me, like, you know, the glow that you get when you put on a moisturizer and everything, but it's, like, a little bit, like, happy glow, I guess. That's the only way I can explain it. But, yeah, the Sunday Riley CEO cream, I am super, super happy that I freaking picked this. No lie. Um, it is, like, super thick filling for me anyway, but... I need that I need so I would say if you are oily skin I would not use this because you're just gonna I don't think that would be a good mix just so you know just my thoughts but I mean you can use it if you want I was like I'm not telling you you can't I'm just I don't think it would be good for you or for whoever that has oily skin because it'd probably just make you break out even more. Um, let's see. Next up, we are going to... We have this Daily Concepts. Individuals who think in the shower. Um, daily Detox Massaging Brush. 100% natural bristles. And this is for... Ideal for smoothing and softening skin. And... Yeah, for radiant skin. It says, yeah, polish in circular motions all over body in order to stimulate circulation and to eliminate layers of dead skin. Designed to exfoliate and smooth skin to improve overall appearance of skin. Clean the brush after use. Do not leave it in the shower or in humid areas. And let's see. The Bristles are 100% natural uh, synth synthetic rubber, I guess. I don't know. This is what it looks like. And, yeah. I'll leave that in the package. Uh, next up is going to be this Dermalect Cosmeticule. Cosmeticutical, cosmeticuticals, cosmeticuticals. Is that how you say that? I'm not sure. This is an eyebrow, eyelash, and eyebrow booster formula, and it transforms lashes to appear longer and thicker, fuller and stronger. Specially formulated to target thin, weak, brittle lashes. Formulated with strengthening trio of active multi-peptides. Conditioning treatment works to. Bolster, moisturize, and fortify. Excellent for your eyebrows, too. Let's see. Big old box for this. So, this is an extra large lash volumizer, XL. And it's got like, I don't know if you can really see that there. I like some. Let's do this. Anyway, got some stuff in there. You can see my fingerprints on here too from putting on the uh, face cream. Just so you know. Let's see, next up we have. Uh, Tarte Lights Camera Splashes Waterproof Mascara. I'm so happy to receive a waterproof mascara. It's summertime and I sweat. And you know what that sweat does? It like leaks down and then I get raccoon eyes. So I'm excited for this. Here is what it looks like, the packaging. And then you just turn it and here's your wand. So we have two eyelash 
things in one box. Mm. I would trade this for something else, and I know this costs way... I think this thing is like $58 or $60 or something like that. Nah. Next up is a MAC Satin Lipstick. And I think this is like their bullet lipsticks, and mine is in the color Schnob. Let's see. How do we do this? I don't know. It's not working. So, here is it is. Get my face out of there. Nah, whatever. It's not working. Anyway, this is going to be the lip color I shall be using today. And I think this is, where's the little thing that tells you how long it's good for? There's no little makeup jar that tells you how long it's good for. It's a little weird. It's supposed to have a, I don't know, whatever, whatever. Okay, last but certainly certainly not least is going to be the Editor Palette from Ciate London. And I never noticed this. Look, it says New England right there. Boop. Okay. Here is the outside of the palette. So it's looking like blue, like blue outline and white, but it's actually like blue outline and pink. Hmm. Like this color, and this color looks like more white, but it's actually like a light pinky color. Just so you know. Here is, get the little plastic out. Palette comes, of course, with mirror. But here are the colors. Color scheme, color scheme. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. There are, let me see, one, two, three, four matte colors, and all the rest of them are shimmer glitter. Just so you know, this is editor palette. I've never done an editorial look or anything like that. Like, literally, I'm learning my makeup. I'm trying to figure out what I'm doing. So... With that said, that is everything that I got in my BoxyCharm Premium. Yep. That is everything. So, six, six items. Um, and, yeah. I'm, I'm pretty happy with it. I got my face cream. I'm, like, more into trying to get my face to stay young now that I'm getting, like, way older. Fun times. All right, so uh, I am going to go ahead and do my eyebrows. I'm not going to put that last stuff on my eyebrows. Um, no. I'm going to go ahead and do my eyebrows and everything and come back for this palette. Okay, I am back. I have my eyebrows done and my eyelids are primed. Ooh. Okay, first up, I'm going to take this flat brush. And we are going to dip into this lightest color here, which is this uh, brown. I'm already putting fingerprints over everything. Um, and basically, this is just going to be our color that goes all over our lid. So that way we have a good uh, transition color. Okay, as you can see, it's a very good flesh color for me. Next up, we're going to go into this pinky tone, and I'm going to use my little round brush. Let's see. Tap in, tap in, boop, and basically I'm just going to tap it on and then sweep it over. 
and kind of bring it out a little bit. Don't worry, whatever we're doing, we can always cover up with the foundation. So if you mess up, it's all right. You know that? Okay, so after you have this beautiful color put on, as you can see, it is nicely pigmented and everything. So I was like, there is a little bit of kickback in the pan and not really a lot of fallout on my face though. So see, doing good with there. Boop, boop. Okay, next up we are going to take a fluffy round brush and we are going to dip into this darker chocolate color right here. Well, it looks a lot lighter on there than what about life, I guess. And get it on your brush. And we're just going to go underneath where we went with the pink. And we're just going to go underneath it. I feel like I, I don't know, but I feel like something's weird right there. And then you want to make sure you build it up enough and we're going to blend it out. Okay, so we are nice and blended out, looking a little scary still. <laughs> Next up, I'm going to take a nice pencil brush and I'm going to take this color right here and put this into my crease. So, let's tap into it. Ooh, it's very soft. There is kickback in the pan. Put it on your brush. And it's got a nice little shine to it, so I'm not doing it over my entire uh, crease. I'm just doing it like, kind of like halfway up. And I don't know if I like that. <sighs> Let's see. Blend it. Hmm. Well, that did not work how I planned or intended, so I had to make my other eye match. But I guess I'm going to go into this dark blue and try that. To just deepen up our crease. Because I don't want to just keep using, you know, browns. Because that's just... See? That gives it a little bit more depth. Okay, so next up we are going to go into this gold right here. Special request, actually. Not by me. Even though we know this is totally a color that I will always, always gravitate towards. I'm trying to get it on my brush. It's like, kind of chunky. I don't know how to explain it. It's kind of chunky though. Like, let's see how this goes. So this is going to take a little bit to build up. There we go. Just 
take some finessing, that's it. But you can see the gold is just... It's gold, man! Okay, so we have our gold on, and check it out, it's gold! Um, next up, I'm going to take my angle brush, and we are going to dip into this green, and we're going to put that on our outer V. Just because I want to play with this green, because it's so pretty, it looks like money green to me. And it's got gold flecks in it, so it should... Well, all the colors are supposed to go with each other anyway when they come in a palette like that, right? So, let us see... Ooh, I like that. I like that a lot. So, my only issue right now with this palette, honestly, is if you look at the gold, you can see literally how I was having to dig and dig and dig into it. I'm not a person that really likes to use my fingers to touch my palettes and then touch my eyes. I don't know, I'm just, even though my fingers touch everything, yes, I know this before you point it out, they touch everything. But, I don't know, I'm just, I'm still iffy about the whole using my fingers as my brushes, you know? I'm really digging this. Ooh. Okay, we are back. So I have put on primer, concealer, foundation, contour blush, highlight, setting powder, lip liner, but it's actually like the color of my lips, so kind of like that. Um, now we're going to go into our MAC lipstick, and we're going to put this on. I actually love this color, and you know what? It reminds me of high school. I used to always wear this pink color in high school, no lie. Mm. Very buttery, smooth. Ooh. I did not know it was going to go on this pink. Snob is, see it looks like, look at how this looks versus on my lips. Don't even look like the same color, huh? Just goes to show you. Okay, so next up, we are going to go into this Dermalect Cosmeceuticals uh, XL Lash Volumizer Eyelash Booster Formula. Woohoo! So, we're going to undo this. And then, I guess, put it in our lashes. And honestly, I'm only doing my top lashes with this. I'm not going to do my bottom lashes. Just because I don't know what the heck it's going to do, you know? Okay, so that's in. And then last but not least is going to be our Tarte Lights Camera Splashes. And I'm excited about that because we all know waterproof so get off the little excess
Sorry, I can't really talk and do mascara. That is like... So when my blonde comes out... Okay, so this is what it looks like with uh, one coat. Let me do my other eye real quick. And this is the finished product using all the products in my BoxyCharm Premium. So if you like what you saw, don't forget to hit like, subscribe if you want to see more content, and uh, I hope you guys have an amazing, amazing day. And uh, see you guys on the next go-round.